In order to be truly successful with homesteading, you have to have a plan. You can still get a lot done without a plan, but you'll always feel behind if you don't have goals in place. We used to just kind of work ourselves ragged on our homestead because we never felt like we were getting enough done. And we often ended up getting distracted from getting the most important things done. Hey you, good girl. She's not letting me get too close, but I have been tying her up next to Maddie when I milk in the morning so that she gets used to like the lead rope and holding still and letting me pet her. And I don't know, it's coming. A homestead is a homestead and there will always be work and stress, but we have found a way to keep things more manageable and to keep our priorities straight. For the last couple of years, we've been doing what we call a dream board. We just look at last year's failures and accomplishments and then we map out our goals for the coming year. We like to put it up on our desktop screens because it's always like right there in front of us. We see it every day and then we can also like keep each other accountable, which is always fun. We have some super exciting goals for 2024, but before we tell you about those, we want to look at what we accomplished last year. One of our biggest goals for last year was to build a trellis and then plant a bunch of grapes. We have all these like dreams of making grape juice and wine and things like that. And we actually did it. It was a huge job because we had to like figure out things with the property line. We had to move a building and some things like that, but it worked out really great. The grapes are looking fine. I mean, right now there's not a whole lot to see, but as you can tell here, we have them trellised along these wires. They're doing really awesome. One of our goals for last year was to clear out our fence rows. We've got some kind of nasty fence rows around our property. I got this spot cleared out for the grape trellis area, but you can see here that I didn't get all of them cleared out. So I guess that's gonna have to go on this year's list. A big goal for me in this last year was to work out and lose some weight. And hopefully you can tell I did lose like 27 pounds. I did a lot of running. I ran a 50K trail run with my sister and a couple other races, and I really had a lot of fun doing that. So I have some more goals like that for this year, and we'll go over those later. Here's another spot where I got some of the fence row cleared. It's grown up in weeds now, but I cleared out fence and brush and stuff because we had a hoop house here that another goal for us was to get that out of here because it was just taking up space. We weren't using it. It wasn't actually ours. So we got that out of here and had to clear this fence row just in case we needed to move it this way. Probably my favorite accomplishment for this year was building eight new raised beds. We have a total of 10 now. I would say this is probably more Cody's accomplishment than mine because he was the one who built them, but they are absolutely amazing. Love, love, love them. And maybe I'll even have more in the future. A personal goal of mine was to get outside every single day and walk or jump rope at least three times a week. And I did it. I truly did it. Another goal that I made for myself was to water these pine trees. We are trying to grow a nice, kind of like a shelter belt to make so that the sprays from the field right across from us don't waft over our farm. I watered these, I fertilized them a few times with fish and seaweed, and they are looking amazing. I am very, very pleased with them. If you remember in the video we did last year about our goals, I said that I wanted to trellis something. I just thought it would be really cool to trellis something this year. I didn't talk to Shelly about this. He but. just wanted to trellis something. The idea I had was to do this really cool, you know, arch trellis or something. That didn't get done, but we did trellis our cucumbers. So maybe that was a little bit of a intro and this year I'll actually do something cool. Another one of my goals was to get my warm weather crops planted out before it gets kind of late. I would often like, <laughs> <laughs> What often happens is I get my cool weather crops out on time and then I just relax and end up getting my warm weather crops planted out late. But this year, I actually was on time with everything and what really helped was the fact that I had raised beds. Often in the spring, it just rains all the time and it's really hard to get everything tilled and ready and everything. But with the raised beds, I didn't have to till those. I could just put my warm weather crops straight into those and it worked out beautifully. A couple of things that I got partly done, I did not finish everything in the fort that I want to, but I got a really sweet slide. This thing is fast. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to expand our bee yard, actually build a couple more hives and add more bees. I didn't get enough time to do that, but I did catch two swarms this spring, which is really cool. I ended up with three full hives, but then two of them died. So I'm back down to one hive of bees, but from what I've seen, they look really healthy. So we'll just have to catch some more swarms next spring. I was supposed to train cowboy this year and I didn't get a whole lot of that done, but as you can see, I got this in-ground fence put in. So it's time to get cowboy trained to that at least. Another massive goal that we had for this year was to get our house paid off. 
And we did! It is such an amazing feeling to be out of debt. We're so pleased and grateful that God provided for us. I accomplished my goal of doing meal prepping this year. Honestly, I don't think I missed a single week and it has completely changed my life. Speaking of goals, this past year I did a hair test and it showed that I was deficient in quite a few very important minerals. So I've been making minerals a priority and because of all the positive results that I've been seeing, like clearer skin, better digestive health, fewer migraines, I've decided to make minerals a priority again this year. I eat lots of nutrient dense foods like grass fed butter and beef liver, but I've also really been loving an element drink, especially on really busy days. What I love most about Element is that the ingredients are so simple. It's very tasty, but it has no sugar, no fillers, no colorings, no gluten, and nothing artificial. Salty. <laughs> right now, Element is offering the More Than Farmers community a free sample pack of eight single serving packets with any order. This is a really great way to try eight different flavors for yourself or share Element with a friend. The only way for you guys to snag this deal is to go to drinkelement.com slash more than farmers. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash more than farmers. One of my biggest goals for 2023 was to grow more storage vegetables. And I absolutely did. We grew like 500 pounds of potatoes this year. And honestly, I'm not sure if we're even gonna get through all of them. Not sure if we're gonna manage to eat them all, but we have so many potatoes, so many carrots, so much squash, so many onions. We are doing wonderful with storage food. There are a number of things that we didn't get done, but most of those will make it onto our list for this year. So we'll get to talking about those now. It's really cold outside and we were tired of being out there so we're coming in to sit down with some hot drinks and talk about our goals for this next year. Something that we really like to do every single year that has really helped us to streamline our homestead is to look back at the previous year and figure out the things that have stressed us out the most. Like what are our number one stressors? And then we like to focus on making those stressors doable for next year. So for me, the most stressful thing um, in the gardening season was disease control and also squash bug control. Squash bugs were completely and utterly out of hand. They're our nemesis. I don't think we're gonna ever completely eradicate either one of those because Ohio is wet and obviously we just have a squash bug problem here. But I would like to at least look into how to make it doable. We also got a lot of good ideas from people in the comments. I want to read back through some of those yeah. and I guess pick and choose because there's a lot of different ideas in there. Yeah. So we've got a lot to go off of and maybe we'll try a few different things and see what works for us. For me, one of the most stressful things was we didn't buy a beef calf to raise like two years ago. Instead, we ended up last spring needing to buy a partially grown beef so that we could raise it out and have beef in our freezer. And I got a little desperate and I ended up getting a wild heifer off of a bucking bull ranch. It was fine while she was here. Come on, peaches but getting her loaded into the trailer and taking her to the processor. If you saw that video, it was nuts. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. I literally almost got killed in that video. I had a migraine the next day. <laughs> it was so bad. This year, I definitely want to buy a beef calf and that's like mm -hmm. almost right now. I'll probably wait until Holly, the heifer calf that our cow just had, I would probably wait until she's weaned and then get a beef calf to put on the cow and start raising it for beef two years from now. Another thing that was really stressful for me last year was just time management. It was totally fine when Cody had a full-time job and we were homesteading. Those two things worked together super well for us. Mm -hmm. But then on top of that, we added the YouTube channel. Time was very short and precious last year. And we knew that was gonna happen, but, and we were committed to it for a small season, but we've overcome that now. Cody's home from work. So now we just have to figure out um, how we're gonna manage our time with him at home. Our schedules, just got kind of all mixed up. Michelle was used to doing things here at the house herself. And all of a sudden I'm at home all the time. I've got my opinions and we kind of get in each other's hair every once in a while, <laughs> but we're figuring that out. And I guess for me, a major goal for this next year is to get like a really good schedule in place, figure things mm -hmm. out. Another thing I have on my list of goals is to build an office. I actually have all the lumber and metal for it. We really need to like separate 
our home life and our business. Right now, I'm still working up in our closet. Even besides all the scheduling stuff, that's just a little depressing. So another thing that can really stress me out is just having a mess. Lately, it's been out in my barn. I have a pretty small barn. This was an old corn crib that we turned into a barn. We didn't have enough money to build a bigger barn. And after a while, when you've got a small space where there's not enough room to like put everything in a nice spot, things just start piling up and getting out of hand. And that has happened. Whenever you have something where you go out there and you see a mess over and over and over, it's this stress that goes into your brain and it's not good for anybody. And it's definitely just kind of weighs me down when I see that. So I wanna get that taken care of. I'm super excited for the new goals that we have for this next year. But first we're gonna go over just a few things that we didn't get done last year. If I'm to be honest, uh, most of the things that didn't get done were on Cody's list. Uh, <laughs> I did have one pretty major failure. I was going to for sure fill our raised bed full of greens. In my defense, I did seed the greens. I just got the seeds from Tractor Supply and they didn't germinate very well. We're actually still eating lettuce from our raised bed. We just there, just, a lot of lettuce. there just isn't a ton of it. There were a number of things that I didn't get done, but I feel like my goal list for last year was pretty ambitious. I didn't make any meat or jerky or cheese. <laughs> But I am still planning on doing those things. I started looking into the cheese. I'm gonna start that pretty soon. And the meat and jerky, I also hope to get to this winter yet. We also need to paint the house, finish the flower beds, finish the fort and the barn. I didn't get any of those things done either, but those are, you know, little things, right? And that's the thing, like they were on our goal list, but they weren't high priority. Right. We did get the biggest priorities done. Also this year, again, the fruit trees didn't get taken care of, but I was inspired a little more this year because they actually started to set more fruit. Before they weren't setting fruit, and so it was kind of like, well, I didn't take care of them, who really cares? But they started setting fruit, but then the fruit was all nasty and stuff, so I definitely need to do better with that, with that this next year. And I'm actually thinking about taking out some of the trees we have. It's a real shame because they've been growing for several years now and I'd have to start over. Problem is, I was very, idealistic I think when we started out and I planted these trees I picked all heirloom varieties and they weren't exceptionally disease resistant varieties. I just feel like if you're gonna try to do everything organically some of the older heirloom varieties are really hard and some of the hybrid varieties do super super well. I think I'm gonna be taking a couple of them out and then planting a couple different varieties maybe and then try to get on top of it this next year. One other thing that I did not get done was I didn't finish the root cellar. There needs to be some shelving in there. Everything just kind of gets set in there in crates, which isn't all bad, it still works, but I really want shelving in there so it's nice and organized. I need a door in there and some stuff like that. Shelving is pretty expensive and the reason I didn't get that is because I have another goal for 2024. <laughs> I wanna finally buy myself a pickup truck. I have gone for years now homesteading with the man van and it has actually worked really well. I'm pretty proud actually of what all I can do with that man van. No shame, but I'm ready for a pickup truck, but <laughs> still gotta save a little more for it. One fun thing that I really wanna try this year is making our own soap. I would really love to make soap from the tallow that we get when our beef gets processed. Lots of beef suet. I've heard it's very simple, very easy. It's just one of those things I haven't tried yet, and so it mm -hmm. looks kinda big but I would really like to try that sometime this year. I also want to try something new this year. Maybe more than one new thing, I'm not sure yet, but for sure at least one new thing on our homestead this year, mostly in the animal area. The first one I'm thinking of, and I can hardly even believe I'm saying this, <laughs> I'm thinking about getting goats. The first reason I was thinking about getting goats is because we have like a swamp area on our property. It's not always wet and it's also surrounded by some like really scrubby woods that I'd like to have cleaned out because I think I could get a little more pasture out of it. Goats are great at clearing places out. And so I was thinking about fencing that area in and putting a few goats in there and having them clear that for me. I'm usually the one who drags my feet a little bit about bringing new animals onto the farm. Not because I don't like animals, but just because like they make more work and I just, I don't know, I like to keep things pretty streamlined, but mm -hmm. I am on board with the goat idea simply because I can drink cow's milk and I love cow's milk, it's my preference, but we have some sensitivities in our family with cow's milk and so I would love to see if goat's milk um, helps me and a couple of the kids feel better. We have one child especially who really detests anything goat, like he can smell it from a mile yeah. off. And so I'm not sure how this is gonna go over. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but I personally would really like to try it and see. I mean, but we could at least get the goats 
put them out there, have them clear the property and just try the milk while we got it. A couple other possibilities I was thinking of, our eight year old really wants something to have of his own on our homestead. He really loves animals, but he's just barely old enough to do some of the things that the older children are doing. I was thinking about possibly getting some quail or some rabbits for him to take care of. Also for myself, I've always wanted to get sheep and if we don't end up getting goats or something else, then we'll just have to get sheep. Most of my goals that I have for this year have to do with gardening. So I have a few things I'd like to experiment with, some things to try. Um, one of those is growing my own onion seedlings. People say it's easy, I'm sure it is. I grow lots of things under a grow light. I've just never really tried the onion seedling thing. So I think what I'm gonna do is grow a small amount of those and like do half of my own onion seedlings and then half seedlings from Berlin seeds just to make sure that like if I get something off, we'll still have right. onions. Give me a side so. by side test to see which one does better too. Yeah, just an experiment. Another thing that I would really like to do is actually figure out this time how we're gonna trellis stuff in the garden. We did trellis our cucumbers but I felt like it left a lot to be desired. We put the trellis up after we had planted the plants. It was not well planned out. I wanna actually get it figured out. The other thing that I wanna trellis is our tomatoes, especially our Amish paste tomatoes are indeterminate, which means they just keep growing and growing and growing. And they just like fell out of the cages and they were totally unmanageable. And Cody's gonna have to help me with that because I can't really build things like he can, so we'll see. I have a friend who told me about a book for weed solutions like tarps and things like that. I'd like to read that and research a little bit and see if we can even get more efficient with weeds mm -hmm. this year. We did a soil sample and I really want to amend our soil in the spring and hopefully that might even help with some of our disease right. issues as well. Yeah. I am wanting to make our garden more efficient, take out parts of our garden that we just simply can't eat the amount of food that we have. So for example, the asparagus patch, I have over a hundred asparagus plants and I know this is gonna pain some of you. And yes, I do know how long it takes for asparagus plants to get established because I actually grew them by seed. We don't plan to sell asparagus this year and we're not nearly gonna be able to eat all that asparagus. Right. We had to drive like half an hour away to the store where we sold our asparagus and eggs and so just to drive that far for like two things is just yeah. isn't worth it it's not yeah. streamlined enough for us and so i would like to have room in my garden to plant sweet corn and dried beans and some new things like that that i haven't mm -hmm. been doing a ton of because we don't have the space or the time and i also want to take out a little bit of my raspberry patch <gasps> we <laughs> gasp <laughs> we just can't eat that many raspberries and i know i know we could give them to a food pantry, things like that. But the other problem is I don't have time to pick gallons and gallons and gallons right. of raspberries. We can have more variety and actually eat, be able to eat all of the food. Whereas with right. raspberries, I have a freezer full of raspberries and we get tired of them. I made raspberry syrup though the other day to put on ice cream. Ooh, that was good. I'm gonna that do that again. Good. But you can only eat so many raspberries. So what would you like to put in there in place of raspberries? I'm going to take out just a third of the patch, just a few plants. It's not, not anything crazy, and I'm gonna put elderberries in there. This is probably Michelle's goal, but I'm gonna have to be the one to do it. <laughs> I wanna put pavers around our raised beds. One idea was to use gravel, but I don't like that idea because of like dumping compost in there and then it getting down in the gravel, you're not gonna be able to scoop that off. We have to mow or weedy in between and around them, and so I wanna put like pavers down with plastic or whatever underneath it so that weeds can't grow up through. A huge issue that I had last year with the raised beds was there was just grass in between all of them. And so if the plants in the raised beds, like squash plants mm -hmm. would spill over and they'd get into the grass and it was impossible to weed them. It was just really, really difficult to work mess. with. I really struggle with kind of the seasonal depression. So just lack of light, it just like really affects my mood. Mm -hmm. And I've been studying about how we can work with our circadian rhythm and like certain times of the day that it's really important to get light into our eyes to help with hormone regulation and stuff. So I am going to really, really prioritize getting outside, getting in light. And kind of along with that, I want to keep walking slash running. I ran a 5K and it felt so good. Just to like have to that. Do it. Just to have that stamina to be able to do that feels really good. And along with that, for me, 
I lost a lot of weight this last year, but I still have a few more pounds that I want to get rid of just to shave off a little more here. I want to get back into working out again. I haven't been working out as much because I was running a lot, so I need to get back into that. But my big goal in that area is I am committing to run at least a mile a day. Starting out, just committing to the end of January. I started already a week ago but I really want to do it for the entire year. So we'll oh, see how really? it goes. The entire year? The entire year. So we'll see how it goes for the next month. Part of that is just to like be in shape and stuff, but it's also, since I've come home and been doing like just YouTube, I end up spending a lot of time sitting in a chair, doing stuff with editing and everything, and I just need to get out more. Yeah. So that's just gonna be one way to make sure that I get outside every day. And it literally takes, if I just do a mile, all together getting ready to go and getting out there and coming back, it takes like 15 minutes. As I mentioned before in our sponsorship, I have really prioritized minerals this past year and I've seen so much improvement in my skin health. I've noticed that my acne is getting much better. My digestion is getting much better. I have not felt depressed yet this winter. And so I'm really gonna keep focusing on minerals this next year. And on top of element and like easy things like that, something I really want to do for myself and my kids. And me. And Cody is get in beef liver. I saw um, a tip somewhere where someone was like, you can just have your beef liver in a frozen chunk and then like grate it with a cheese grater into like meatballs and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, that's so easy. I had some goals this past year for our YouTube channel and the main one being, I just wanted to make the best content possible. I knew I wasn't gonna be making the best content of anybody on YouTube, but the best content that I could make. And I feel like we did that. We really put our heart and soul into making these videos this year. I wanted to create a really good community where people are talking back and forth, where I'm interacting, and I've really felt like that's happened. And I just appreciate every single one of you that's in this community. You guys put in some really good questions that I'm really excited about answering. Another goal that I have this year is to teach my kids how to cook. Like my kids do know some things about cooking. Uh, my daughter especially, she can, you know, make ice cream and some things like that. But even like sourdough bread is super, super easy. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like I could hand some of those things over and have time for other things. And plus my kids actually really enjoy cooking. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of like me taking the time to teach them how and you know how it is. So I'd really like to make that a goal this year. If any of you are gonna be at the Homesteaders of America conference, I just got tickets for that. So we're Yay. planning to be there. That'll be the first one we've gone to. We haven't been to one yet. So that was my one of my goals for this year was to go. So I got the tickets. One of the things that I'm the most excited about in 2024, and I don't even know if it's gonna happen, but I'm excited because I know. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanna go on a vacation. So usually in January and February is when I have the worst issues with my seasonal depression. And I always just like crave sunshine and water, blue, clear water. <laughs> <laughs> and we have never, never, we've been married for 12 years and we have never gone on a vacation. We've gone on like one or two day weekends, just us or something, or we've gone to see family for something or a funeral or whatever, but never just We've a never just gone on a vacation for the sake of getting away mm -hmm. and relaxing and resting and having a good time just with our family. Yeah. And so I would really, really love to do that. We're saving our pennies and we'll see once if we can make it happen. It would be so much fun for us to hear some of your 2024 goals and how mm -hmm. what you guys are doing this year to make 2024 successful on your homestead. So let yeah. us know in the comments below. That would be so much fun for Speaking us. Speaking of community. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>